Hello to all my friends and loyal companions of the Blue Cube YouTube channel. I hope you are doing well. I am Arash Adder, and continuing with the Adobe Animate tutorials, in this video I am going to teach you how to export an animation in different formats such as MP4, GIF, without background, and other formats as well. So friends, after you have finished your project and made sure that no further changes are needed, you can press Ctrl plus Enter and take a test preview of your animation. And when you are satisfied, you can start exporting. But as you see, when I take a preview of my work, I realize that there are some lines I had previously used as guides that still exist in the animation, or an image that I placed in this part, which I do not want to appear in the final export. Friends, pay attention, this is just a preview, which you can see with Ctrl plus Enter. Now I will close this. In order for this image you saw not to appear in the preview, I return to the timeline. You can see that when you press Ctrl plus Enter, you enter the output section and it shows you a preview. I go back again to the timeline. I come down here to where my image exists. You can see that although the layer is turned off here, and also the guide layer is turned off, still in the final export it appears. The only way that we can make sure this image does not appear in the final export and in fact does not get exported is to either delete it, or to come here, click on this folder shaped icon, like this. After double clicking, I come and choose the guide option for it so that this layer is recognized as a guide. Then I press OK. For this image layer as well, which was a guide, I come here, double click on this folder, and also select it as a guide, and press OK. Now if I press Ctrl plus Enter and take a preview, you will see that in this way those images and pictures I did not want are no longer exported. OK, I will close this again and return to the timeline. The next point, friends, is the sound section. If your animation, like mine, has sound, or if your character is speaking, for this sound to be applied in the final export, you need to go and select its layer in the sound section. I also explained this in the previous lesson. Now in the properties frame section, you can see here that I currently have it set to stop, which means no sound is generated from the character. In the normal state, it is on event, which shows the sound on the timeline. Let me play it. But in order for the sound to render in the final export, I select it again, and in the properties frame section, friends, this option must definitely be set to stream, so that our audio file is exported as well. Now, after you have done all these corrections, friends, go to the file menu, choose export here. You see that it has different options. In this video, I want to focus mainly on exporting in MP4 format, but I will also review the other options so that you become familiar with them. For example, export image or export image legacy. These two options are very similar and do not have much difference, but the image quality in export image is a little higher. When you click on it, this window opens for you. You can turn off the transparency option to see the background of your work. Whatever background you have created, you can see it here in this mode. But if you click here and enable transparency, it will create an image without background for you. It only takes one image. If I press save here, and select the location where I want my file to be exported, and here I choose for example number 1 for it, and press save, now if I go back to where I saved my work, you can see that it has exported one image of my work without background. Just one image, as a sample, from the exact frame you were on. Now again I go to the file menu export. The next option, friends, that I want you to get familiar with, is export movie. What it does is export the animation as a sequence of frames and images. If I click on it, I can choose the storage location of my file here, I open a folder for it. Here I can choose my desired format, like GIF, JPG, or PNG. I choose JPEG and press save. Here I can change the size of the document or resolution. It's not necessary, so I click OK. In this way, it starts exporting as consecutive images. When it finishes, and I go to the folder where I saved the project, you can see that I have all the images in this way and I can view them. Now again I go to File Export and select Export Video slash Media. Here we can change the document size. By default, it shows the document size we had created earlier. You can also change it if you want. The option Ignore Stage Color means ignore the color of the stage, our document. If you enable this, the background color in the export will be black. For now, I won't click it. In the entire movie mode, it renders all the parts of the timeline where we created frames. In the scene mode, if I click here, I can say export only certain scenes. But since we only have one scene now, it just shows that one. 
We can also set from which frame to which frame it should export, or even specify a time range, like from which second and for how long it should export. But we don't need that. I just click on entire movie so that it exports the whole animation. Now in the format section, I want to choose my format. For example, it has MP4, PNG, and different options. For MP4, it is the H.264 option. When you select it, it means MP4 format will be applied. In the preset section, we can choose video quality. You can see here that ready presets exist for us. For example, if I want the video for YouTube, I can select the full HD option here. For HD, I can choose the HD preset. But normally, I recommend the high bitrate option here, which has very high quality. If we go a little lower, we can also select quality 1080 here. But since my document size is 1280 times 720 HD, for now I will select the high bitrate option. Here I choose where my file will be saved. I say, for example, in folder 2, and I choose a name for it. I name it 2 and press save. Now friends, for us to be able to press export, you must have Adobe Media Encoder installed on your system, so that it can export MP4 for us. If this option here is active, then we cannot change settings in Media Encoder, and it will export very quickly. I uncheck this, and then press export. Now you see that Adobe Media Encoder opens for us. Don't forget, your Media Encoder version must match your Adobe Animate version. For example, my Media Encoder is 2023 and my Adobe Animate is also 2023, so we can continue easily. Just click on this green button here and it will quickly export for us. Now I go to where I saved my file. If I double click on it, you can see that it has created the export for me. Double click again so you can see it. So friends, in this way we export our animation in MP4 format. Now I return again to Adobe Anime. I press OK here. Now friends, if you want to export your animation without a background, again go to File Export, select Export Video, and in the Format section choose QuickTime. Then in the Preset section, scroll down and you can select the Maximum Bit Depth plus Alpha option, or 4444 plus Alpha. When it has Alpha, it exports without background. For example, I choose this one. And friends, make sure this option, Ignore Stage Color, is enabled as well, so that it ignores the stage color. Now again I take an export. Again I press the green button here so it renders. I return to the folder where my file is, and you can see that it has created the animation for me as a MOV file and without background. Friends, if you double click it, maybe it won't play for you, but if for example we go into Premiere and want to edit it, or place it on top of another video, you can see the effect. I open Premiere. To show you the no background mode, I import the file into Premiere. I double click here, choose the file I exported without background, this file, and click open. Now you see it appears here. I drag it here onto the timeline. If I place the playhead here, you can see that my character appears here. I can scale it larger from here. And you can see that it no longer has a background, and I can place the character anywhere I like, like this. If I press play. So you saw that we correctly exported this file without background. Now I return again to Adobe Anime. Okay friends, in this tutorial you got familiar with different export formats. I hope you enjoyed it, and thank you for staying with me until the end of the video. Until the next video, for now, goodbye.